by the way, this is not the subject, but give you an idea of the way in which the media have become non-news sources, but propaganda sheets. Do you know that they all say now the gender assigned at birth instead of the biological sex? They all say that. All the media, New York Times, all of them. Whenever they discuss uh, uh, the, uh, the the issue of the transgendered, that that is they they never say biological sex. They say s- gender assigned at birth, like people flip the coin. Oh, we'll just say it's a boy. All right, got that out uh, off my chest, and now the subject. I just want to remind those of you or tell those of you who are unfamiliar with this hour, it's the most honest hour I know of in the media, about men and women and my little boilerplate comment. I am not a man fan and I am not a woman fan. I am a good person fan. Though I have zero inclination toward defending either sex. There are good women and bad women and good men and bad men. They're about evenly distributed between the sexes. The only difference is their badness generally comes out in different ways. I want to do, maybe I'll do my last male-female hour 20 years from now on how the badness comes out of each, from each sex. <laughs> Nobody would have a problem with by describing the the bad, the badicity coming from men, but the attacks on me, I don't care. I mean, I, I don't avoid things because of attacks. But to describe women as doing bad is, is verboten. Anyway, I have a topic for you today about men and women, and specifically with regard to marriage. And it is one of those where I am posing a question, and I will have you respond, and then I will respond to you. So get ready to call, because I don't. I'm not opening up with a theory, which I usually do. I'm opening up with a question. If you are, if you are married, did you ever seriously consider divorce? But here's, here's why you should call in. This is what I need to hear from you. That alone is not what I'm asking for. If you have seriously considered divorce, I have two other questions. Why didn't you divorce? And here's the kicker. The punchline. The coup de grace. Are you happy or unhappy that you didn't divorce? I'm very interested in thine responses here. 1 8 Prager 776 877 243 776. If you've thought of divorce, that's not the, you don't qualify. A lot of couples have thought of divorce whether they have articulated it to their articulated it to their spouse or some friend or not that has gone through i wonder what percentage of married people have never thought of divorce i have no idea but it's an interesting it's just an interesting unanswerable question but that's not my question my question is did you or both of you seriously consider a divorce? Why didn't you? And how do you look back on that decision? That's why the key is seriously consider divorce. I mean, if you had marital issues and you overcame them or stayed together and you're happy you did, <laughs> that doesn't qualify, and, and I'm laughing because... That's pretty common. 
people have an issue, they overcome it, they stay together. That's not that's not what I'm talking about. I mean serious consideration of divorce. That's that is the uh, issue here. Eight seven seven two four three triple seven six. I think uh, triple G. We have not heard a jingle of my phone number in so long that millions have never heard it by now. Eight seven seven two four three triple seven six. Do we know the man who did that? Because that that man deserves a personal visit from Sean. I, I would like to thank uh, people by name who've made jingles for me. By the way, keep them coming. The, uh, the one that was made of my motto in life, if nothing's horrific, life is terrific, is right. Boy, now, do you... That was Russell Kidd. Thank you. That, by the way, you've got to admit, you really know that now. Because just normal. Do you know when I see heavy traffic now, I think, oh, is that a beautiful sight? I complained about traffic all of my life. And now, all of a sudden, no, I'm not sick. Traffic is now a beautiful thing. It means people are leading normal lives. I want people to lead normal lives. I'm a big fan of normal. All right, this is the question here. And, well, all right. I'm Gary. I can't take your call because you never considered it. If you never considered it, please don't call. That's not the issue. And, Gary, I'm glad things have worked out, but... I just have to explain that uh, that's not the topic. So please call on the topic. Did you, ideally both of you, ideally for the show, not ideally for your life, uh, consider divorce, and if you didn't go through with it, because I'm talking to married people now, why not and are you happy you didn't? All right, so we'll begin with Marissa in Los Angeles. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, yeah, we, early on in our marriage, well, say about seven years into our marriage, my husband had an affair. Uh, we were separated for 18 months, and divorce was definitely a consideration. I had lots of friends telling me, you know, you need to leave, you need to leave. And I was like, I, I don't know. I I never wanted to be a divorced person, and I really wanted to make things work. But it was definitely there. His girlfriend would call and chide me. and uh, She would call you? He, yeah. She would call and laugh. And... Um, well, he picked a real uh, beautiful human being. Ho- hold on with me. I'm very curious uh, to ask you many questions. 1-8-Prager-776. This is the male-female hour. 